it's another beautiful day. Here comes my daughter. And we're running a little bit late. It's day four of mom being sick, so. As soon as I... What do you have to say about it? This is retarded. Huh? This is retarded. What? What are we doing? <laughs> we running late? A little bit. <laughs> they should have been ready, but I was... I was gonna wait till 6.30 to get up, and I got up at like 6.48. Man, that's really pushing it. Yeah. Still got completely ready though, and I was ready for seven o'clock, and then everybody else was just slacking its time. <laughs> Bunch of slackers. Exactly. I fell asleep on the couch. It's like, okay, we need to leave at seven, so let's get up at 6.48. What's the word of the day? Um, kindness. And fraction referral. <laughs> it's reflection justice. Any words? Forgiveness. You need to forgive. Any words? No. Sadness. Time to... Time to go learn. Get an education this morning. More traffic in the school lines. Oh my goodness. How do people deal with this? Pull up a little bit Make sure to <laughs> drop me off and let me have my stuff before you leave. Okay. All right. We're going to wait right here. Don't What's wait right stuff? here. You I'll got pump it. Open. There he goes. Okay, we got to walk a little farther today. Okay, I'm walking that right way. Jess is walking that way. Okay, here we go. You guys have a great day. Where? Bye, Justice. I forgot my football. Thing. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, baby. Okay. Do good. take the kids to school a lot when they first started going to school and uh, life got so busy I just I haven't done it I haven't done it much but I always enjoy messing with the kids in the mornings giving them a hard time which is fun all right, so we're going to see what we're going to be getting into. I, I need to take the rest of that tree down, but i got a lot to clean up first. So I'm going to be doing that first thing this morning uh, while it's cool. And I've got some phone calls to make and all that kind of stuff too. Check on Mrs. B. Make sure she's gonna survive and uh, I don't know when she's gonna come out of it <laughs> she's uh, she got prescribed some Tamiflu yesterday like I said she took a COVID test and didn't have COVID so her throat was swollen up and so they're giving her I guess she did a teledoc or something yesterday, but she's doing Tamiflu is what she's doing. So we're hoping that she's going to bounce back. This is like day four of her really feeling crummy. Um, check on her again here in a minute. Okay, we'll be back. I gotta tell you guys, it looks so weird. And this guy's not even gone yet. But I have a side yard. Still got quite a bit to clean up back here, but it's uh, a lot more off the ground than there was. So I'm about to go dump this other load 
And I think that's going to, I think that's going to be it for today for this. As far as tree removals and all that stuff. You can't, uh, you can't, you can't do it all at one time. My dad has a saying, inch by inch, life's a cinch, yard by yard, life is hard. So I'm sure that's not his saying, but it's one that he used to tell me all the time. All right, here we go. 22 foot, 21 foot eight. Yeah, okay. There you go. And the garage door is only eight foot. I know. That's dumb. So it'd be a 10 foot. Yeah. I wonder if I can talk him into changing it. I mean, really, Moy hasn't framed that yet, so I can still bump it up to a 10 foot, and their only cost difference would be the, the difference of the door, cost of the door. It would look better. See if you can get them to take it down to like a 16 foot by 10. Because it's 18 right now, ain't it? Yeah. So 16 by 10, yeah. I think it would make more sense. And it would look better on that gable in there. That's going to be the first thing they look at. Right. All right. I got my stuff done. I'm feeling sore, guys. My arms are all scratched up. I tore my shirt. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that? I tore my shirt. <laughs> so, it is what it is, but... I am going to uh, go check on Mrs. Brandy, see how she's doing. All right, well, we're going to go pick up the kitties again, and let's see if uh, Bailey had a good day. She. was really distraught yesterday because she got in trouble and I think it was really telling of what she did. She ended up coming home writing a letter to her teacher on her own accord to try to resolve the situation I guess. Her in instinct was to bring resolution to the situation and she wrote a letter basically apologizing for her talking in the fire drill line which I thought was a pretty responsible thing to do uh, so kids will surprise you sometimes and Bailey was definitely surprising me on that deal but I think it's interesting. She wrote the letter and then she's like, you know, but my heart, I think, I mean, she didn't really say it in these words, but she wasn't, her heart wasn't in it. Uh, she wasn't really sorry. So I think in some ways she didn't want to give the letter to the teacher. But I told her, I said, look, you know, you, you feel like this is the right thing to do. I think you should do it. Sometimes it's not based on feelings. Sometimes you do what's right because you know it's right. It's not how you feel. You do the right thing. So it'll be interesting. I texted her at one point today. Uh, she doesn't have a cell phone, but she has the watch, you know, where she can get a text told her I said you should definitely give that letter to the teacher and uh, told her I loved her but hopefully she did the right thing we'll see see what she did we'll see we shall see mm. looking like possible rain possibly so tell me how your uh, day went. What? What'd it you, went fine. What'd you do? What do you mean? What I do? About your situation. Oh, you know, 
when I got the thingy. What thing? The fraction reflection thing. You, what is that? This. It's like it says you're you were a bad girl. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I, when I got it, I started to cry, but then like my friends cheered me up and told me that it was gonna be fine because. And, like, they told me reasons why I shouldn't be crying. And so I stopped crying. Miss Griffiths tried to comfort me, too, but it didn't really work. Then, later on, I gave her the note that I wrote to Miss Scott about how, whatever yeah. I had to do. And, um, she didn't, like, say that she said anything because I gave it to my teachers, so she didn't say anything back to me. And then the rest of the day was fine. Go to 90 on the test grade or something like that. And you, uh, also are an honor student. Yes, I am. You're also in the honor society. Yeah. And you've never had an infraction before. No. But of course, it's the six weeks left that we have school. And what did you do that was so terrible? Apparently, I was talking. Apparently? Family. Yeah. You were. No, I wasn't. You weren't talking? No. Hmm. Something was happening. I was dancing. Okay. Well, look at this guy. What's going on with you, man? You don't look so well. Look at me. Huh? Man. Looking rough, buddy. So I brought him some medicine. Mom wanted him to have it. And what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> he sprayed it all over the window. <laughs> it's all right. He's upset. He don't feel good. The nurse called. Justice don't feel good. So like we'll have to see. Apparently. We'll have to see if he can go to practice tonight. Cause Dad, we have a half day tomorrow. We I heard about that. Like I heard about that. That's terrible. I mean, how's that terrible? It's very inconvenient. Take your kids to school at 8 o'clock and then pick them up at 11 or whatever, three hours later. Exactly. That's annoying. Yeah. Like, what are you possibly going to learn in three hours? Well, I'm only going to be in my first, my second class for 40 minutes, so I don't know what we're doing in the first class. All right, well, back to it, back to it. Yep. Back on the road. I'm not sure what's going on there. That's weird. Is the shutter speed too high? There we go. I'll I know what's it. happening. The LED light? Yeah, the lights, they're flashing on and off so quickly that the shutter speed... No, the shutter speed I'll is so it. quick that it's able to pick up the darkness. That is so cool. What? I fixed it. What happened? Slowed it down a little bit. Yeah. Whenever the shutter speed on the camera's raised up a lot, it can detect when the lights are turning on and off. It is really cool. On and off? What do you mean? Jensen's. Because the, the connection isn't like consistent since it's connected to all of these. So it, it'll like flicker. Like especially fast, if it's so in. fast though that you can't see it. Yeah, but whenever he turns the shutter speed up, you can see like lines of dark and light. Therefore, you can see the lights turning on and off. So if I adjust the shutter speed, see, see it rolling. Oh wow. Yeah, that just proves Did you that, take uh, an ice bath today, Jaden? Yeah. You getting ready for tomorrow's all, what do you call it? Area? Yeah, it's just area. 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 That's going to be exciting. You got to go straight, buddy. State's not next. Next is regionals, regionals. after area. Well, yeah. <coughs> and I think, they I think they take top two from there to go to state. And Justice is confirmed has pink eye. Yeah. It's pretty gross. Yeah. I feel bad for him. 
some sort of bacterial infection. This is what I mean by vegging out when the kids get home from school. It's hot pockets. <laughs> uh, Jaden is munching. Bailey is hot pockets. Uh, I mean, listen, I had chicken nuggets for lunch today, okay? Chicken nuggets and fries. That's what I have. Just eating everything. We still have Easter candy just laying here. Look, nobody likes this kind of candy. See? This stuff, sweet tarts. What these? You know what? Good. The first thing to go is what the chocolate. Yeah, Kit Kat. You're eating it. It's just you. <laughs> <laughs> Snickers. You're the one making the most. Hmm. I didn't do that. You didn't? No, I didn't do that.